Hello from SlideNerd and hello from Waves. What's up folks? In this video, I'm going to talk about the layout inflator in Android. Now if you guys have heard about this word layout inflator, you know very well it does the work of converting your XML layout appearance description into Java objects. But there is some complexity associated with this conversion and that is why if you try searching for the documentation on this layout inflator, you're not gonna find anything good, not even on developer.android.com. And that is why this video is dedicated to discussing all the complex aspects of how layout inflator works. So if you are a beginner, the first question that's gonna strike is, hey, what the hell do you mean by layout inflation? Well, here's a simple explanation. Converting XML appearance description of your layouts into Java view objects that you can use inside your code is called inflation. And the layout inflator is a class that does this work for you all right and here too this is a very time consuming operation think about this you have your linear layout you have your text view your linear layout has some layout width equals to something layout height equals to something you say orientation should be vertical and then your text view also has like set text do this background all these attributes have to be converted into java values right and that is a very time consuming operation plus i have written recursively over there and you're under probably wondering what that means think about this the text view is a child inside your linear layout so first the linear layout has to be converted then it has to go inside every child of the linear layout recursively and convert them from xml to java right and that is why it's a very time consuming operation and resource intensive so how do you use this layout inflator well there are two methods you have the context.get system service which i believe is the right method and then you have your get layout inflator method both of these give you an object of layout inflator now remember you cannot say layout inflator l equals to new layout inflator that does not work it's hidden from you for creation all right and then another thing you can use an xml pull parser to create a layout inflator from that but then remember your aapt which is your pre -comp compiler for your xml resources always accepts layout files which are pre-compiled by what what do i mean by that inside your res folder all your appearance descriptions that you put those are pre-compiled if you want to have download an xml file from the internet and then you say hey i want to inflate this using layout inflator it's not going to happen until unless you pre-compile it with your aapt tool all right all right so how does this work pretty simple you simply say layout inflator l equals to get layout inflator or get system service and in the bracket you have to put layout inflator service now don't worry about that syntax too much you're gonna discuss how that works exactly in code but for now the second line this is what matters view v is l dot inflate this inflate method is the one that takes an xml file that you want to inflate and converts that into a java object which is your view v that you see on the left side and there are two parameters the first int resource second view group parent what is the int resource int resource is the name of the xml layout file that you want to inflate or you want to convert all right and then you have your view group parent a layout that you want to use as the parent for this inflated layout all right now if you're not clear with what this means right now don't worry too much about it I put some nice examples and I'm sure you will follow them through as we discuss things all right parent is optional you can simply say l dot inflate r dot layout dot sub layout comma null now r dot layout dot sub layout is the name of an xml file which is actually called sub layout dot xml it is inside your res layout folder and that is why you're addressing it like this all right and what is v well v is the root view representing the resource now what do i mean by that if your r dot if your sub layout dot xml file contains only a text view v is going to be equal to that text view object in java all right if your sub layout dot xml file contains a linear layout and a text view inside that linear layout your v is going to be equal to the linear layout it's going to be equal to the root inside that xml file all right pretty simple to understand yes all right so i'm gonna take a simple example to make you guys understand how the layout inflator works exactly the example is gonna be something like this this is gonna be inflated with the help of a layout inflator 
now there is the sub layout.xml file it has just one text view inside all right and i want to inflate this or in short convert this into a java object using the layout inflator class and then this is what it looks like for now sub layout.xml it has a text view inside and then there is my activity underscore main dot xml which has a frame layout and a linear layout inside now if you guys are not familiar with these layouts you can go ahead in my playlist and check out these videos about frame layout and linear layout where i have talked exactly how they work so i'm gonna place my text view converting that into a java object inside this view hierarchy now remember frame layout is at the top and then you have a linear layout inside and i want to have my text view somewhere over here and i want to do that through java all right so i'm going to use the layout inflator class so keep this picture nicely in mind because my entire video is going to deal with this example I mean, i'll be having this structure everywhere just to show you guys and remind you what is there inside the files so at this point if you try looking what is there inside your linear layout this is what i mean this is what you're going to see inside your frame layout which is being displayed on the screen there is just the activity underscore main.xml which is my appearance frame layout linear layout no content inside so you simply see a plain yellow background now i have given different background colors i've highlighted that here also frame layout has an yellow background color linear layout has a blue background color and the text view is probably pink if i'm not mistaken all right so let's go ahead and use the first form of inflate here as you guys remember i have my sub layout.xml file which has a text view inside it with the background color of pink all right so there you go you say view v is l.inflate r.layout.sublayout come on null and what is this r.layout.sublayout well it is the same file sublayout.xml what is this null it is the parent for now i have just put null over there but i will show you what happens when we put a parent over here all right so at this point the question to you guys what does this v contain v contains the text view all right because that is what you're trying to inflate then who is the parent of v we specify null over here so the parent is null third question what is the layout params for this v now what is this meaning of layout params layout params is an object that controls how big your view is what is the appearance what is the orientation and all those things it differs for each layout that is why you have linear layout dot layout params relative layout dot layout params and something like that right they are all derived from your view group dot layout params which is the base class for all layout what you call descriptions right so at this point this is also null now what do you mean by that being null well we will see what happens when this thing has a value but for now don't worry too much about this all right how does it look like well you see a blank yellow screen and you're wondering what the hell dude why is it looking like this remember you have only converted your text view into a java object represented by this v you have not added this to your main layout right of course you have not added this your main layout still is containing just a frame layout and a linear layout inside so you need to add this v to one of these remember one of these you can add it to your frame layout or you can add it to your linear layout it's your call all right so at this point you have your text view from xml inside java inside this object v that you see here on the left now remember this is not visible on the screen because inside your set content view method you have set r dot layout dot activity underscore main which you do all the time right but where have you added this v to that main layout you have not added so there are two ways one add it to the frame two add it to the linear layout because they are the only two layouts inside your activity underscore main right and you have to add this v to one of them so here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add it to the frame layout by saying something like this first I need to bring the frame layout from XML into Java. So I'm going to say something like this find view by id r.id.myframe. Then I can use this method saying f.addViewV. And at this point, what is going to happen is something like this you have your frame layout, you have your linear layout, and you also have this text view over here. Pretty simple, right? They are both siblings, they are both children of the frame layout. So before adding, this is what you saw. If you guys remember, hello screen, right? After adding, take a look what happens. Since the linear layout has nothing inside, it doesn't show up, and you have the text view which takes up the full space on the screen. So this is what your activity underscore main.xml contains now. It has the frame layout, it has the linear layout, and it has the text view. And the user sees this, 
because you simply added this B over here by using the f.addView method. Now you can also add it to the linear layout. Like I said, you just have to add this V to one of the layouts inside your main and you're done. So here again, the same series of steps follow. You take the linear layout from XML by saying find view by ID, blah, blah, blah. Then you say f.addView, your V over here. And then if you add it to the linear layout, this is what happens. You have the frame layout inside which you have the linear layout inside which you have your text view, right? Pretty simple. Before adding, again, you saw the blank screen. Take a look. After adding, this is what happens. Now, you guys are probably wondering, hey, what the hell? What's the difference? Well, think about this. The linear layout has some content inside. It had a width of match parent and it had a height of wrap content. So, obviously, the text view, which is pink in color, is going to fill that up, right? Again, take a look for the colors over here. The frame layout has a little background. Linear layout has blue background, which you see over here, and a small dot at the end. And then you have the text view inside. So at this point, I'm almost done talking about the basic layout inflator that I've been discussing so far. In the next video, I'm going to talk about the more advanced aspects of the layout inflator through which you can exactly and precisely control whose layout parameters should, it should inherit, what appearance descriptions it should inherit. All right. So if you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel. Let me know your thoughts. I would love to hear from you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next bit. Have a nice day.